In this video, we're going to talk about two settings that you might want to know where they're at for your end of school year because sometimes things happen where you need to adjust views within your PowerSchool Sys server. So I have two specific circumstances that will always pop up at the end of the year. So one of them is in the teacher portal. So in the teacher portal, I'm going to flip to here. In our state, at the end of the year, a lot of teachers are going in, entering in their data. If you're, especially if you're a career tech teacher, if you're a physical fitness teacher, um, it, most of the stuff Literacy Act, Numeracy Act is year long, but physical fitness and career tech can be semester type classes. And they're entering in students' programs and credentials for end of year state reporting. Well, inevitably, districts have certain settings set in their PowerSchool Sys server that control the views of this current classes screen in the Power Teacher Portal. Notice in my teacher portal here, I'm only displaying semester two classes. Well, if I'm a teacher that's teaching career tech and I need to put information in my semester one classes, I can't get to them here because that is accessed here only in the student information tile. So if a teacher comes to you and says, hey, I need to be able to see my first semester classes because I cannot, here is the setting you need to look for inside of your SIS to update that. So that is a school level setting. So I'm gonna move from district office to a school. And in school management, I'm going to go to display preferences and additional preferences. Inside this additional preferences is this one right here called default term level. This controls the view of that landing page of the Power Teacher portal for your teachers. Notice I have it set to half a year, which is a semester, which is why we saw the current semester, semester two. That is also the item that controls the drop down here of what view you start out with in the actual SIS administrator portal as well. A lot of districts will set this to short as possible because they want to be looking at current data. Um, this does kind of flip the screen in your attendance views when you're looking on student records in the admin portal. And so to keep them from having to scroll throughout the whole year, people will set it for short as possible. But that does cause an issue at the end of the year when teachers need to get back into first semester classes if you do semester classes and not just all year long classes like in elementary schools. So if that teacher comes to you and says, hey, I need to look at first semester, how do I get in there? What you'll need to do is flip this to the full year. Year. So when you change that default term level to full year, and again, this is school by school preference here, and submit, it will update that view. So if I go back to the teacher portal, and now I'm going to log out, and we're going to log right back in. Now you will see it says the entire year and I have way more classes on my screen. So now I can go back and access my first semester classes if needed. So that's one setting. Another setting that is of interest to districts happens at the end of the school year. So I'm gonna actually navigate back to district office. So, how many of you have had this call before? The end of school was yesterday and today your teachers are coming in to finalize everything and they go to log in and they go, hey, my year is gone. It's not looking I'm like I don't see anything for 23-24 anymore. Uh, what's going on? Uh, my Power Teacher Pro disappeared. They always say it disappears because a lot of people don't know how to navigate back to past years or future years inside of Power Teacher Pro. And so one of the settings that you have to look out for in your district management under district setup, and again, it's one of those additional preference screens. There is this right here, default term when been between school years. So a lot of people in the summer set that to next school year because when you're in July working, you want to go ahead and get the next year as being your default year inside of SIS because that's where you're doing all of your effort at. So a lot of times it's always set to this because during the school year, you don't think to come back and flip this for the summer. Well, toward the end of the school year, you want to prep to say, all right, as our school year ends, I want to keep this school year, the current school year, the one up and going for everyone. So you have two other options of closest school year or previous school year. So I could make this change so that when I log in either to this SIS admin portal, um, you know, the day after school gets out or into the teacher portal, it's still looking at the past school year because we've not finalized everything in that school year yet. So if I did have this set to next school year and everything kind of swapped over and I needed it to stay, I just come into district office, change this setting right here and hit submit. 
Now the one caveat to this setting right here is that it does not take immediate effect like the one that we did for the default term length at the school. This one actually requires a nightly process to kick off to go through and flip that view for you. However, there is a trick that's just one of those things, if you know, you know, you can force it to go ahead and make that flip for you. So if you were to go to district management and district setup and school info, click on one of your schools. Does not matter which one, I'm just gonna pick one. On the edit school page, you're gonna scroll to the bottom of the screen and you're gonna hit submit. Now, why does this work? I have no idea. All I know is doing that will kick off that process that will then flip that for you. So if you come in at the, you know, the day after the last day of school and the teachers are like, ah, everything's gone. I need to get, you know, look back at the last school year. You can come flip and then do that little trick and it will automatically update for your teachers. Just have them log out and log back in. However, best recommendation is before your school year gets out, go to that district management setting and go ahead and flip this so that you're ahead of the game so that when school ends you are keeping your districts looking at the previous school year which is our current current school year so i hope that helps in some of your end of year woes